Welcome back to the broadcast. Hanukkah is the festival of lights, and it'll be in full swing the last week of November. Here to sh share some great Hanukkah ideas is the author of the Entree to Judaism. I love this, Tina Wasserman. This is amazing. So Thank Entree you. to Judaism for families. Yes. And the for families is really important, right? Yes. Okay, okay. tell me why as I'm flipping through this. Okay, well, the... Uh, what I wanted to do was give the opportunity for parents and children to connect, to connect to each other, to connect to their history, to connect to en enjoying foods and learning about foods and trying new things. And, you know, with the convergence of ha Hanukkah and Thanksgiving this year, I've been often asked, well, what, do you, what would you call it? And I say, this is a perfect time for connection. How often do grandparents go and spend Thanksgiving with their grandchildren but then have to tell them, I'm sorry, I can't be with you for Hanukkah because I've just been here visiting and sure. I can't come back. So connect is the word that I like to use. Now it's just all mixed together uh -huh. this year. That's great. So lots of traditions. Tell me some of the, about some of the recipes in this book. Now, you mentioned each one has four parts. Yes, each one has four parts. First, there's an introduction that tells the hit that has history that has a connection to the recipe whether it's uh, historical whether it's cultural and and so I want I want it's it's storytelling mm -hmm. and then the recipe itself and the recipes are always uh, geared very much to children and and to actually people who want to learn how to cook more sure because I specify all the in equipment that you need. And then I have my, my students here, I always refer to my uh, cook, uh, my cooking school, Tina's Tidbits, the information you need. So uh, that's right here. And that that's makes right it really here. Easy, and huh? that tells you what to look for when you're working with a child with this recipe. Great. So, the, oh, that's wonderful. And, I love right. that. And then the kitchen conversations are, how do you take it one step further? How do you, you know, if, as, if it's a recipe that, uh, for instance, for Hanukkah, one of the things we do is Ethiopian uh, latkes, even though they didn't make latkes there. But then the, it's, the suggestion is, why don't you see, how did the Jews get from uh, Israel? To I Ethiopia. love that. So you've got, go some, you've got history, yes. telling, storytelling in this with some amazing recipes that, from what I'm seeing, are surprisingly low in fat. Yes. And very healthy. I would say that of the, um, there are probably only six or seven desserts or sweet things in this recipe. In That's this it? But not, everything not else is pretty healthy, right? right? Right. I mean, some of this but looks fun, amazing. But not, not boring by any means. For, for example, beet hummus. I mean, you're so used to seeing hummus, you know, I, I cannot get my kids to eat it. But if they see something like this, <laughs> you know, it's got a little color to it. I may be able to, oh, yeah, that's good, honey. Look at all the color. You know it's flavorful, and I bet it is. I bet it's really good. It's very flavorful, and it's also a way to, for a lot of children who do eat hummus but won't eat beets, it was a way to introduce beets to them to say, hey, you know, it can be interesting, and it can be delicious, and it doesn't have to be, mm. Well, mm -hmm. look, I think I'm going to have to get a copy of this. I love the concept of the book, Jewish Cooking and Kitchen Conversations with Your Children. I mean, I can see a lot of bonding going on yes. here. And, and you don't have to be Jewish to do it. <laughs> so tell me, tell me a little bit about the tradition of Hanukkah. Okay. And I know it's an important one, so, so tell us about it. Well, we hear the story very often. The story of Hanukkah is about the, the Maccabees, and they, they went into the temple, had been desecrated, and they fought the Hasmoneans, and they won, and, and they cleaned up, this, the, the, they resurrected the synagogue and the temple in Jerusalem. And uh, we often hear the story about the, how the, they found only one vial of sacred oil to light the menorah, and instead of lasting for one day, it lasted for eight. Uh, there are many questions as whether or not that really is what, what happened in terms of why we're celebrating Hanukkah, because there are other parts of the Jewish world that, that celebrate a different story. And their food connection is not latkes. Their food connection is cheese pancakes. Got it. Because there was a heroine who uh, saved the Jews in her community by feeding cheese and wine to a general, and he slept, and then they, the, the army slept. So, you know, it's uh, Jewish food is storytelling. The question is whether or not the stories came first or the actual holiday came first. 
I love it. Lots of tradition and Very some much so. amazing healthy recipes to go along mm -hmm. with it. Love it. Well, you can find Tina's book wherever you buy your favorite ones. We've got a link set up to our website. Make sure you check it out, thebroadcasttv.com. And we're back with more broadcast right after this.